All right, we're going to shift gears a bit and talk about four different types of goods. Um, public, private, club goods, and common resources. And the way economists categorize these types of goods are based on two criteria, rivalry and exclusion. So now let's see what those terms mean. So rivalry. A lot of times you'll hear economists say rivalry in consumption. Well, that means that one person's use of the good diminishes another person's use. So, for example, if we have a delicious chocolate chip cookie, and if I take a bite of the cookie, your ability to enjoy that cookie is reduced, right? Gross. You wouldn't want to eat a cookie that I've already taken a bite from. So, a cookie would be an example of a good that has rivalry in consumption. Exclusion is the idea that you can uh, stop someone from consuming the good if they haven't paid for it. So the ability of the seller to stop buyers or people who haven't paid from consuming the good. So examples of things that are put in place for goods that have exclusion, right? People or have to face a cash register at stores, or there are locks on doors, or there are security tags. All of those are providing um, some type of barrier to exclude someone who hasn't paid from obtaining or using the good. Right. So we have rivalry and consumption and exclusion. So now let's look at how each one of the four goods is categorized based on those two categories. So a private good has exclusion and rivalry in consumption. A private good is one that you can stop people from consuming it if they haven't paid for it, and one person's consumption affects another person's consumption. Two people can't simultaneously consume the good um, without harming the other's ability to enjoy it. All right, so that's an, a private good. Public good is really a theoretical construct. It's very, very difficult to find a pure public good that exists uh, sort of in the real world. So typically um, there are close examples but not perfect examples of public goods. And a public good then would be the direct opposite of a private good. It is non-excludable and non-rival. So you can't stop people from enjoying the benefit of the good or even if they haven't paid for it, and one person's consumption doesn't affect anyone else's consumption. So think about what kinds of goods might have no exclusion and no rivalry. Club goods. Now, a club good, you, it, think of a club, right? You have to be in the club to enjoy the benefits of club membership. So a club has exclusion. You're either in or you're out. But it's non-rival in consumption. So the members of the club um, can all consume the good without really significantly or at all impacting the enjoyment of the consumer good for the others in the club, right? So you can limit who gets in, but for those who are in, they can all consume and they're not affecting each other's quality of consumption. Whereas a common resource is the opposite. You can't exclude people from consuming the good, whether or not they've paid for it. But there is rivalry in consumption. So as folks are consuming the good, um, it's impacting the ability of others. So you can't stop them. And the more people consume, the more it impacts others from their consumption benefit. So for homework, I'd like you to read the chapter that deals with public and private goods and common resources. And then I'd like you to name, right, so identify at least two examples of goods for each category. Private, public, club goods, and common resources. And put it in the Dropbox and bring your list to class the next time we meet. Thanks.